Hi guys, it's Chris from Send From Heaven Golden Retriever here. Thank you for watching and welcome to a new episode of the Nova Concept. In the last video I gave you an introduction how to train your puppy to walk on the leash. For this I showed you four basic rules. The first rule was choose a training spot with less distraction as possible so that the puppy can learn as best as possible. The next step was um, take care about the motivation of the puppy. If the puppy is motivated, train. If the puppy loses its motivation, stop training immediately or you have already gone too far. The next rule was there should never ever be a tight leash. Just train with your puppy when the leash is loose. So you can never ever have the problem that the puppy is pulling on the leash. And the last rule that I told you is take care about your own motivation and about your own mood. If you are in a good mood, train. If you feel like you are not in the best mood to train the puppy, don't train with the puppy. If you didn't see this video, I will put the link up here and you can watch it. And please, please train all these things that I showed in the last video before you move on to the next step. Because in this video I will show you how you can go on with the leash training. Dogs are always learning through repeating things. So this means at the beginning you should take care about the rules that I told you train it as long as the puppy needs to train for this and if you feel that the puppy is ready to move on then you can go to the next step but as long as you feel that the puppy is not really self-confident about what you are doing please move on with the basic training in this video i will show you things that i do when the basic training is finished when you move on with the training there is one thing that you can change you can change the distractions all the other parts are still the same. The motivation of the puppy is important. Um, it's important that you are in a good mood for training and the leash should never be tight. These three things are the basic rules that you should always consider when training with a puppy. What you can change is the distractions. So in this video I will show you how I moved on with Nova. For example, I went with her into the city. I gave her new distractions, people walking around, cars driving around and so on. And then you can see how the puppy is reacting to these distractions. If you feel that the puppy is not self-confident enough, then please go a step back, train the basic stuff and then move on to the next thing. The situations that I trained with Nova, I will show you now. Getting puppy into new situations is all about calmness. You can see that I'm always trying to motivate the puppy with um, treats and I'm always taking care that the leash is loose. Remember, all these things are new to the puppy. The puppy has never been in such an environment. There are cars, there are shops, there are um, glasses that looks like mirror. If you feel that the puppy is getting unconfident or not self-confident enough, show the puppy what it's all about, give the puppy treat, and if it's okay for the puppy, move on to the next. Always wait for the puppy. If the puppy is getting interested in something, don't just pull the puppy. Wait until the puppy has explored everything and if it's okay just call the puppy and move on. You can see the leash is always loose. I'm in a good mood, the puppy is in a good mood, Nova is looking at me, Nova gets treats all the time so that all the things we experienced um, in this situation is about happiness. If there are situations where the puppy is really excited about something or maybe also a little bit unsure, just wait for the puppy and the best possibility to let the puppy explore new things is give the puppy treats. 
in this situation you can see um, that I'm putting treats the puppy is eating them and while eating the puppy ha is able to explore all the things and if it's okay for the puppy again just move on if the puppy is interested and the leash is tightening stop and wait until the puppy is um, motivated again to work together with you If you are doing a good job, you will see that the puppy is more and more paying attention to you and not to the surroundings. Here you can see that Nova is always looking at me. If she is looking at me, she gets the treats. And here you can see that the puppy is getting more and more self-confident, always watching me. If you feel that the puppy is self-confident enough in the first spot that you have been, it's time to change the situation. And never forget, hand praise is always really important. Show the puppy that it's going to do a good job. And you can see, even in a different environment, the puppy is always looking at me, paying attention to me, if the puppy is interested in something else wait for the puppy, if the puppy is turning back to you, give the puppy treats, it's doing a great job. So as you could see, training a dog to walk on the leash properly begins with a very very basic training and train the basic stuff as long as possible until you feel that the puppy is ready to move on to the next step. If the puppy is ready to move on, it's really important for you to be in a good mood the motivation of the puppy is okay and of course always always stay calm when you train your puppy to walk on the leash don't get too excited don't get angry about the puppy if it's not working and of course you have to be the leader so this means when the puppy is maybe not too self-confident you have to help your puppy you have to tell your puppy come on it's okay come with me together with me you won't have any problems you won't get into any trouble stay with me and everything will be okay so I really hope you like this video you found something useful to train with your own puppy if you like this video please give us a thumb up um, share the video if you want and of course if you didn't do it please subscribe to our channel press the alarm bell so that you don't miss any of the videos and um, I wish you a lot of happy training See you the next time and have a good time. Bye bye.